Happy Tuesday! Today the experiment is volcano erupting. And what have you made here? It's a vo multicolour volcano. What's that over there that you've drawn? Uh, it's, a mod um, it's a volcano and I use all different colours. Wonderful. Okay, so over here we have some bicarbonate of soda or uh, baking powder from the kitchen, some detergent, some food colouring. We didn't actually have any food colouring because we're self-isolating so we've just had to improvise and uh, we used some strawberries from left over from yesterday's experiment. We just sieved them and then we've got some vinegar. Okay, so if you'd like to add one spoonful of the baking powder into our jar, we've just coated a tea light candle holder with some plasticine. Add, add a bit more. Big scoop. Yes. That was one, one um, teaspoon in there, one large teaspoon, so you can use pretty much all of that. Okay. And then if you'd like to pour in the detergent, the green one, all of it goes in there. Lovely. And red food colouring or our strawberry juice. Do you want to pour that one in there? Thank you. Brilliant. And then give that a good stir. Lots of stirring in there. Hold it at the top, it's probably easier. You'd like to stir it in circles. Yeah. A bit more vigorously. Doesn't matter if it goes over the side. Do you want to have a look for it? Like this, that guy. Need a smaller spoon, I think. As long as it's all mixed up nicely. And one last go. Should we just put a bit more of this in there as well? Just to make sure we've got enough. Well. Okay, you'd like to add the vinegar. Hold it and pour it in and watch what happens. All of it in. Go. All of it. Pour it fast in there. Pour it fast. Pour it fast. All of it in. Wow. <laughs> Can you see it looks like lava? Can you see it's flowing out like lava? Do you like it? What can you see? What can you see? I can see. Bubbles. That's because of the carbon dioxide that's produced when the baking powder reacts with the vinegar. Yeah, it feels nice. Feels nice. <laughs> oh. There are three types of rock, sedimentary, metamorphic and igneous. Volcanic rocks are igneous rock and they're very distinctive because they have crystals and the size of the crystals depends on how the rock cooled and solidified. So if they, if the rocks cooled slowly, they form large crystals and if the rocks cool fast, then they form small crystals. So some examples of those rocks are granite with the large crystals and basalt with tiny crystals. Um, Magma is the molten liquid rock below the surface, so we refer to rocks below the surface as intrusive, and if they're above the surface, they're extrusive rocks. 